Trailblazer level 50. Well, let's do some quests. The rumors are already circulating. Let's gather some intel first. Have you heard anything from Gossip Monger? Is the lead researcher really that corrupt? Who exactly is this whistleblower? Hey, aren't you off work today? <laughs> I couldn't not come in after checking my phone. Days off aren't as juicy as gossip. Ah, well, too bad. <laughs> I haven't seen Gossip Monger this morning. You should rest up and wait for more news. Oh, <sighs> you're right. Hmm. Why are you still here? Didn't your department call you to prepare for the emergency operation? Uh, no. I just sneaked out for a little while. What are the odds? I got a group message two minutes ago saying that something's happened in the special purpose lab. Somebody's trapped. The security department's blocked off the area around the entrance. The special purpose lab? Then wouldn't Pamela, I, I mean, gossip monger, be... Most likely. No wonder she's not here right now. Gossip. The walkways around the special purpose lab have been temporarily closed off. Please keep your distance. I'm the trailblazer. Can you let me through just this once? I'm afraid this is a live situation. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I can help out. Wait. Brother Arlen told me about you. If you insist on going, I wish you the best of luck. Be safe. Oh. Let's see. Wait. Come here, well. All right, what's the situation here? Your brother Arlen's friend. That's me. What happened? The security department received information about sightings of Legion remnants in the vicinity. However, we just confirmed that there are monsters here that have never been seen before. The security department sectioned off the area immediately, but we lost contact with some people. Did Arlen ask you to investigate? Great, I I've made some new discoveries. Did you see it? Look. It seems like the rumors about the station are true. There are Stellaron traces here. Look at me. I'm the Stellaron. Good luck figuring that out. All I know is that monsters have destroyed the power supply installations here. The elevator is out of commission. So the people stuck on the floor below can't make it up. Is there anything I can do? Maybe you can help us restart the central elevator? There are plenty of backup power sources in the storage zone. Right opposite, if I remember right. As soon as we can restart the power supply, we can get this elevator working and rescue everyone. All right, then. Hmm, right or left? Let's go right. Sneaky. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Lance forward. <laughs> A delicate operation. 
ピカブー Survive or be destroyed There is no other choice Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens And I'm no exception Reach the end of the story in your own way Backup batteries Hmm. Do do do. Do 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 Nothing personal. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh, hi. Dun dun. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Operation. Here you go. Well, did you find the backup power source? <sighs> Thank goodness you're here. Give me a moment. I'll give the elevator a little shake up. All right, you can use it now. Be safe. Use the elevator. First floor. Help! Somebody help! Wait, the elevator is here. We... We lost sight of Pamela. There's a terrifying monster over there. We... We didn't dare... To go over on our own. Please save her. We'll, we'll take the elevator up. Please. Not <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Are you a gossip monger? <clears throat> That's right. I'm the one you're looking for. You knew I was looking for you? Of course. Not only did I know you were coming, but I also know why. I came to ask you something. <laughs> you want to know who Richard Know-It-All from the Heritor group is, don't you? Heritor? Fans of Madame Herta. They call themselves the Heritors. I'm a businesswoman, and we play by our own rules. If you want the scoop, you have to pay the price. <laughs> Certainly not. I have a very clear notion of how much different favors cost. I don't have any particular hobbies. <laughs> I do indulge in a little tittle-tattling here and there, not to mention admiring of a certain scientist. And now here you are, vanquishing monsters left, right, and center. 
I heard you're with the Astral Express. <laughs> How fortunate. As it happens, I'm a huge fan of Himiko. An amalgamation oh. of beauty, brains, the epitome of a graceful and gentle scientist. Uh huh. <laughs> so. Can you help me take a high def portrait photo of Himiko smiling, please? Okay. Uh, make sure you capture her electrifying smile. The one that stuns people into a trance. But a million volt smile. Do you have a request that's more normal? This is a strange request, alright? But uh, it'll probably be my funeral. Woof, well, what's the matter? You know Himiko well, right? If you ask her, I'm sure she'll say yes. A superbly beautiful, dazzling, electrifying portrait shot of Himiko in exchange for the secret behind Richard Know-It-All. Send the picture over when you have it. I'm always fair when it comes to haggling. Something's up, guys. What? The security department locked down the area around the special purpose lab. I heard they were remnants of the Legion. Not just that, the Fragmentum too. Fragmentum? At the space station? Are you sure? I'm looking through the security tapes. It looks like the Fragmentum is a minor one. But there seems to be monsters there that can only come from the Fragmentum. My goodness. I've only seen samples before, but never a real live Fragmentum. I'll go take a peek then. See you guys later. Curiosity kills the cat. Someone like you won't stay alive for more than 15 minutes in a movie. None of your dang business. Blocked. Blocked. Why don't you two just get married already? Oh boy. Juicy drama. Gotta love it. Hey, Himiko. Did you find Gossip Monger? What did she say? She wants your picture in exchange for information. She's made a very Himeko centric proposal. <laughs> I knew she was weird. So you. Huh. How many weirdos do you know? You said you were friends. Uh, there are many types of friend. She's the type you can only stay friends with if you never meet her. Ah, uh, gotcha. It's okay. It's just a picture. I don't mind. Go ahead. Alright then. Say cheese. Let me see. Hey, you're pretty good. Thanks. Uh-huh. What are you taking pictures of? Well, what brings you here? March 7 may have rubbed off on me. Why do you sound so nervous all of a sudden? Suspicious. Nothing sus at all. I'm just taking pictures. See? Photos. A Spider-Man. I, I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't you say you were really busy? Uh, I am. The Legion has only just retreated. The station is in absolute shambles. Now any progress in rebuilding things has been ruined by the reappearance of the Fragmentum. Oh. An act of Stellaron is rarely a cause for celebration. What did Herta say about the Fragmentum's appearance? <laughs> you know what she's like. It's like nothing's happened. She's just sitting back and giving orders. If there's time later, I want to talk to you both in more detail about this. You're the Fragmentum experts, after all. Anytime. Uh, I need to go. Someone's taken my family encryption key. You know, the one I used to withdraw my allowance? I need to get to the bottom of it. Oh, your credit card. That's not good. 
someone's withholding her encryption key. A credit card. That might be the whistleblower's so-called evidence. Looks like you don't have much time to lose. Alright, remember to send me the pictures when you get them. Oh my, Himiko really is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to print this out as a wallpaper and hang it in my room so that I can look at it all day. Right, I said I was going to give you Richard Norridal's identity, didn't I? He's Richard from the Department of Galactic Geopolitics. This information is guaranteed to be authentic. He's a business rival after all. So his real name is actually Richard? Yes, he's that tall and thin man with black rimmed glasses and a slanted fringe. This guy j had just been chased out by his own department, so he's always hanging around at the reception hall. That inside scoop that he has, I know all about it too. You want to hear about it? The same terms of our deal still apply. <laughs> Himeko. Fine, I'll get it myself. So, where's glasses? Black. A bit fringe. That could be anyone. That could be me. That could be you. Are you the one? Are you? It doesn't nope. fit Gossip Monger's descriptions. Is it you? She said a young man with black rimmed yes. glasses and a <sighs> And you are? You must be Richard. <sighs> and you are? Are you Richard Know It All? Oh! Well done. You found me. So, you're here about the lead researcher's corruption. Anything for a good story, huh? I don't get it. You people live your lives for gossip. I mean, drama is... Let's just say... Attracts... Is very attractive. Wouldn't it be better to apply that drive to your research? Madame Herta would be delighted to see everyone working so hard. Hand over Estas encryption key. What encryption key? Have you been reading too many novels? You think there's... Some hidden air on this space station with keys to the family coffers. Less fantasizing, more researching. Got it? You want the scoop? Fine. I backed it all up anyway. Here, take it. And let it be known that I, Richard Know-It-All, do not spread rumors. This is the receipt. See the title on this purchase order? That's what I call substantive evidence. <laughs> is the source of this document reliable? Yeah, of course it is. If I had any doubt, I'd have kept it quiet. I had picked it up a few days ago when I was collecting a package. I saw a few receipts requiring the lead researcher's signature. The security department's head honcho, Arlen. He left pretty quickly when he saw him. We all know he's on her side anyway. So I had a peek, and whoa, she's buying equipment for the space station under her own name. <laughs> I've got her now. Hmm, this is no evidence at all. Jeez, oh, do I really have to break it down for you? The space station has its own financial procedures. As long as the purchase is for the space station, no matter how big or small, it has to go through the organizational account using the station's allocated funds. The payer here is her private account. She's totally embezzling station funds for herself. I'm so disappointed, so hurt. She looks like a sweet enough girl, but not only did she fail to repay Madame Herta for promoting her, she even stooped to this. I was so angry, I was shaking. I broke out in a cold sweat. What if it was her money that made the purchase? Have you ever considered that maybe she paid it for herself? That amount of money? Herself? Who do you think she is? Fleming's daughter? I mean, she's rich. Anyway, now you know everything, so leave me alone. I still need to write a report about this for Madame Herta. Seems like it's all just a scare. But it's easy to make rumors and hard to dispel them. I better let Asta know. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. 
It's getting late. Where to now? LL, some young brat just came up to me. Yo, Rich, Rich, what about your scoop? Everyone wants to know when you're gonna reveal it. Soon, soon. Remember the youngster I just mentioned? That brat came up to me to ask about this too. Once I showed my irref irrefutable evidence, even they have to shut up. <laughs> the one who came to find you was the person who fought out the Legion's doomsday beast. You don't say. Oh, I saw it on the monitors too. This person also defeated the fragmented monsters back at the special purpose lab. Oh dear, looks like you've run into a big shot, Rich. Rich? Rich? Are you there? GG. You can't waste money like this. This isn't wasting money. The IPC's budget is so stringent and oh, the process takes so long. By the time my application would have gone through, too much time would have been wasted. Do you know how much hardware was destroyed when the Legion attacked? And how many cables are currently out of order on the station? How is it my fault when I'm spending my own money to solve everyone else's problems? Give my encryption key back. I won't. You... Who gave you the right to tell me what to do with my money? You did! Oh... Oh... Okay. Arlen's, uh... Asta's financial manager. Okay, okay. Financial accountant. I... I well, I might have done that, but... This doesn't count as wasting money! How is it not wasting money? We lost that finding device you bought during the Legion's invasion. All you had to do was check the inventory and we could have replaced it. Why did you make a new order? And that Starnot fleet from the last time? Starnot. I did make an order, but it didn't go through. I was just trying to improve security measures to make sure attacks like this don't happen again. Oh, she was ordering a battleship. Wow. If, if the money wasn't spent, then it doesn't count. Anyway, whew. are you here for something? Nothing as important as what you were just discussing. Uh, please, tell me why you're here. Tell about Richard's actions. Blah 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 so, blah blah. You think Richard was the one who stole my encryption key? So he was the one who started the rumors. Huh. That fits. It feels like she's not surprised. Keikaku Dorida. Eh? I'll deal with that immediately. Please don't worry, Miss Asta. Let him go, go. Uh, wait. Leave the encryption key here. That's a separate issue. We'll talk about the encryption key later. Uh, how can you... Esther has become a visitor to the Express. Alright. Weightless. Signs of the Fragmentum. Alright. Whose question I do next? This one's Servo. Natasha. Clara. Hook. Hmm. Do hooks. It's getting late. 
Where to now? Thanks for your help in uncovering the conspirator. I would like to thank you on behalf of Asta. Leave the rest to me. Myrtle didn't punish Asta, did she? Is it true that Asta brought all those... So you really don't know. This space station may be Madame Herta's property, but she didn't pay a single credit for its construction. Miss Asta's family has ties to the IPC, so saying she's wealthy would be an understatement. Most of the facilities in the space station were essentially funded by her. So the cost of those things she purchased was practically nothing for her really. What exactly is the interastral piece? Corporation. Ah, uh, you can just think of them as the galaxy's wealthiest organization. In any case, I have to thank you for helping Miss Asta with this incident. Alright. Damn, there's a lot of messages. Hello, Hook. member of the moles listen up what is it pitch dark hook the great thank you for helping hook find the detector but now hook needs to ask you another favor i'm all ears hook and daddy's birthday is approaching every year at this time we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday together wait you had the same birthday yeah what's the problem uh... Daddy's job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He gets home really late every day. I don't want to use his hard-earned money to buy a gift. Why not ask Natasha for some money? Oh, I've broken a thing or two in the clinic, you see. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to ask for help from the old witch. Actually, I still have some valuable treasure of my own in Rivet Town. <laughs> it's a shame I left it there. If I go bring it back and sell it for a decent price, I can buy a gift for Daddy without begging anyone for money. Rivet Town is in Fragmentum, so you are begging me to help? What? Oh, what nonsense! This is an order from the boss of the moles! An order! And I'm still a kid. You wouldn't let me go inside the Fragmentum by myself, would you? Okay then, boss. Then it's settling. Let's meet in Rivet Town. I'll be waiting for you in a safe spot. You're not allowed to not come. Do do do. Meet Hook at Rivet Town. <laughs> what took you so long? Hook's been waiting here for ages. Kept you waiting, huh? Well, it wasn't actually that long. As long as you're here now, it's fine. I got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? The bad news. I told the rest of the moles about the plan, and Julian asked me to get some treasure for him. If we don't help him, he'll tell the old witch where we've gone. The good news is that he's willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. How dare he threaten the boss of the moles. Well, Julian has been a huge help to me. Consider this returning the favor. Well, the treasure won't grow legs and find us, will it? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Julian's adoptive parents used to own a business in this area. When we were all forced to leave the town, there were lots of things they didn't have time to take with them, so... Shouldn't be too hard to locate his treasure. Let's start by looking over there. Ah, we found Julian's treasure. 
No, not the key. These glass marbles. Oh, look at all the different colors. Bet it wasn't easy collecting all these. Mm, I thought the key was the treasure. What are these marbles used for? What? <laughs> you don't know? Have you never played marbles before? Uh... Julian knows. What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, right? Doesn't look like anything special. Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a lot to the moles. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis for which he was promoted to second in command. He defeated fragmented monsters with marbles? Of course it wasn't that, but his accomplishments are nothing to be scoffed at. In the past, the kids in town were arch rivals to us at the orphanage. Those kids used to bully us, relying on the pocket money that their parents gave them. One time, they sent us a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a marbles competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. We at the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road. Which are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge. And triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. It was incredible. It's no wonder he values these marbles so much. Yep. So, now you know why he wanted us to find this treasure. Alright, enough chit chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Time to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. This doesn't feel like the rivet town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now, too? before I left. Boxes and mine carts are all over the street. Oh, what a mess. Oh, did someone move my treasure too? Perhaps these are stacked here to keep the monsters away. I used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of geomero and boxes. Oh, hopefully it hasn't been taken. Hmm. You can look for it for yourself. Go ahead, I'll start looking. I'll look with you. We'll definitely find it if we work together. Uh. Is it working? It... it won't turn on. Oh, just... just don't talk to me right now. I need to calm down. Brief silence. Remain silent a bit longer. Silent trailblazer. Honorary member? Um, I wonder. How much do you think Julian's glass marbles would sell for? Mmm. They're worth half a shield at most. That's it? Ugh. I'll have to abandon my evil plan. Why not find someone to fix it? That might work. But it'll be pretty expensive to fix, right? Hmm? Uh, hi, Zoro. Hi, hi. How about we ask the guy who gave you the gift for help? Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. Maybe he went someplace far away. I have no idea when he'll come back, so that definitely won't work. 
Mm, what should we do now? Oh, wait a second! I hid another treasure at the orphanage! I don't want to sell it, but if I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. Honorary member, please, please help me look for it. Just one more time. Ah, it's fine. Ah, yay! Let's go! to deal with them first. You won't get away. <laughs> Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Uh, survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Well, that was fast. Let me take a look at my notes. I marked the location where I stashed the treasure. What character are you going for in the next update? Hmm. I'm still thinking about it. Either it's Silver Wolf or Lotcha, but I'm not sure though. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe so, but I don't have Sila though. Going Locha for Blade team. Ah, Locha's good with Blade, right? I feel yeah. Locha's good with Blade, but I don't know. Well, we'll see. My goal is just to get Kafka though. So what is your mysterious treasure? It's a reward from the old witch. <laughs> You'll know what it is after I dig it up. Go down the stairs on the left, then walk 10 paces forward. Turn right, walk another 15 paces, spin around 10 times, then keep walking forward. Oh no! I'm doomed! The second half of my notes are completely ruined! Mmm, this is useless then. Without the second half of my notes, how will I ever find the treasure? Uh... I have a treasure of my own. What, really? Quick, let me see! Let's use the home use object finder to help Hook search. Oh no, find the... No. Beep, beep, beep! Find the home use object finder at your service. Please say the target object you want to search for. Please don't beep. Oh, wow. This little thing, it can talk? Wow, you can talk as well, little thing. Huh, aren't you sassy? But if you can help me find my treasure, I'll let it slide. Skip Locha and wait for Ho Ho. Hmm? Who's Ho Ho? I have no idea. If it's another leaked character, then I'm not very sorry about it. What's ah. this? Oh, looks like something is written on it. For Julian, 50 years in the future. Whatever. Since we've already dug it up, let's open it. Mm. What if it has poison inside? Really? Oh, the old witch did say that some things will emit a poisonous gas after being buried for a long time. Uh, okay, forget it. Let's not open it. Julian's time capsule. As stated 
limited in the terms of service. Uh -huh. My search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call M Beep 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 Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep Beep Beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Oh, here it is. My teddy bear. The old witch gave it to me as a gift. This is your treasure? Yes. He's called Junjun. Whoa, Junjun. How did you get covered in dirt? And why do you have so many loose threads? If we don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. How much can you get for him? Do adults really like teddy bears? I mean, Natasha likes it. The old witch said Jun Jun isn't just any old teddy bear. <sighs> I haven't learned to sew yet. I'll have to ask the old witch for help. If she finds out I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone, uh, Hook will get lectured all over again. But so what if the old witch yells at me? Hook still has to prepare the gift for daddy. Don't drag me into this when Natasha gets. Furious. We found the treasure. Let's split. The monsters here give Hook goosebumps. Ooh, too scary. I'm warning you. Don't you dare tell the old witch about Hook's plan to sell the treasure. Junjun the Cuddly Bear. Getting late. Where to now? Hook, what are you? Junjun. <clears throat> Natasha, um, Junjun's in bad shape. Can you help me fix him? I remember giving you Junjun. <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. Where did you find him? The. The wind brought him back to me. Be honest with me, Hook. Uh, big sister helped me find him in the Rivet Town Orphanage. You had her take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? Natasha, please. Please help me fix Jun Jun. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. <sighs> you say that every time and then... Uh, great, see you soon! Uh, big sister, I'll leave Jun Jun with you. What am I going to do with that girl? You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh-uh, I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. <sighs> Jun Jun. So she gave her bear a name, huh? Hook oh, seems really fond of this bear. I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you I'm slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. That must have been some difficult pretending. Maybe she's actually a well-behaved kid, pretending to be a naughty. I'm afraid you have no idea how much she suffered that month. Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right. And forcing her to be well-behaved puts a lid on it. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help Hook repair Jun Jun. But I'll need to find some stuffing. Ooh. Wait, look at the eyes. Pretty. They're like, they look like gemstones. They must be... Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. Were you distracted or something? I think I must have been. It's not every day you sew precious gems into a teddy bear, honestly. Well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun.
Did the old witch yell at you? She did. What? Why'd she only yell at Hawk? <sighs> Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? Absolutely not, Peach Dark Hook the Great. Natasha has excellent intuition. Well, I'm aware of that. I just didn't want to upset her. But anyway, why are you still standing here, silly? Do you have something to report to the boss of the moles? Yunjun's eyes are precious gems. G gems? <gasps> Does that mean he's worth a lot of money? We will sell him. Well, of course I'll sell him. If the gems are expensive, Hook can buy a better birthday gift for Daddy. Anyhow, this is super useful intel. If you've been with the moles a bit longer, I'd be promoting you to third in command right now. I'll need your help again after Natasha fixes Jun Jun. Always be prepared to answer the call of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Mm -hmm. Hooks give. Oh. Damn, uh, Hooks' quest line is quite long. Tomorrow, Wildfire will host an auction near the vacant camp on the outskirts of the robot settlement. Everyone in the underworld is invited. Buyers and vendors, please register with your real name prior to the auction. Hmm. Noise. Dun 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 dun. I should do Natasha's quest line next. Thank you very much, miss. But don't read too much into it. That's not enough for you to be in second in command of the moles. You gotta get past me. And I ain't planning on giving up my position just yet. Hand over Julian's things to him. All the marbles. Are these also mine for Julian in 50 years time? Iron gates behind the business street. No one needs it anymore. Thank you so much. Adventure Smalls Sorry, I haven't read it There are all kinds of stories in the Adventure Smalls But this edition is a bit strange It's only got the preface and the table of contents Here, read the preface Uh... If you follow the hints on the list, they will lead you to the correct, correct locations where you will be able to gather the book pages. The pages conceal clues to the riddles that will lead you to the invisible treasure chests. By collecting all the pages, not only will you complete a copy of the adventurer's mole's hidden treasure, you will also discover the drake of the great adventurer's treasure. Oh. Near the entrance of the open air cafe in Backwater Pass. Boulder Town's Great Mine. 
in a cave with storage shelves in Rivet Town. In the trenches deep within the Silver Main Guard restricted zone leading to the snow plains. Hmm. Great mine of Boulder Town. The Great Mine is mentioned in the table contents. Oh, new mission. But I'm just gonna do Natasha's quest. favor to ask. Something um, rather personal. Of course, Nat. I want to thank you again for recovering the Wonder Medicine. It meant a lot to me, but disposing of Vash's reagents isn't enough to solve the medical supply shortage. Many of my patients can't be seen promptly, and my stock of medicine is running low. Thanks to you, the route to the overworld through the Furnace Core has reopened. I'd like to use it to return to the surface and see if I can get some help. Help from who? <laughs> I knew you'd be interested. Remember my adoptive parents I mentioned to you a while ago? Uh-huh. After the reopening of the Furnace Core Passage, I had an idea. I wrote a letter and asked Sampo to deliver it to my parents' old address. I didn't have high hopes, but amazingly, Sampo brought me my mother's reply. Sampo being a gentleman, a rare occurrence. Sampo couldn't have forged it, could he? No, I recognize my family's handwriting. We are all doctors, after all. <laughs> Mom said they still live at the old house, but they're not working on the front lines anymore. They should still have some connections in the medical school and the hospital, though. If I'm lucky, maybe I can convince them to send extra medical supplies to the underworld. Of course, that's not the only reason for me to go back to the surface. I can't wait to visit my parents again. And I can tell from my mom's letter that they feel the same. If possible, I would like you to go with me. Of course. Wonderful. <laughs> That's such a relief. I've sent another letter to my mom telling her to find us near Fountain Plaza. Don't worry. I know my way around the administrative district. Blizzard immunity. Meet Natasha in the overworld. Oh. It's getting late. Where to now? Hold up, be right back.
Right, I'm back. Careful now. Don't get your clothes wet. <sighs> this place doesn't seem to have changed much from what I remember. <laughs> no, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted watching the crowds. <laughs> Look at the busy flow of people. Life in the overworld carries on as usual, as if nothing has happened. Hmm. We're a little early. I've got an idea. I want to buy my mom a gift. You're more of an overworld local than I am now. Any suggestions? How about flowers from Emerson Flores? How about watching a play at Golden Theater? It's a never winter workshop. How about flowers? Flowers, huh? That's a great idea. I've been underground for so long, I almost forgot what flowers smell like. Flowers it is then. Can you lead the way? Follow me, my queen. I Here will show you the way. I'll see you at the usual place this week. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Right this way, my queen. Ever summer? <laughs> was that always the name? <sighs> Seems I was too young to get the irony back then. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to sound cynical. Maybe it simply represents the people's hopes up here. Now that I think about it, sending flowers is quite the tradition in my family. Mom, Dad, Vash, and I, whenever something good happened, we sent each other flowers to celebrate. Do you want to hear a flower story? Hmm, let's hear one. What was your mother's favorite flower? Each year for their anniversary, my dad would send my mom a bouquet of ball peonies wrapped in red paper. I heard that ball peonies represent love that knows no end. It does fit their marriage. <laughs> What was your father's favorite flower? My father is a famous surgeon in Bellabog. Because of his fame, people in medical circles paid great attention to his surgeries. He always had a lot of stress to deal with. And each time he finished a tricky operation, my mom and I would buy a single stem of sunshine and then pin it on the chest pocket of his apron. Sunshines represent warmth and love of light. Huh. For patients on the verge of death, my dad might have been the only light to penetrate the darkness around them. What was Vash's favorite flower? Vash. <laughs> Out of everyone in my family, I think he probably appreciated flowers the least. Still, I remember the day he received his offer from the medical academy. My parents took me to the florist, and we bought him the most expensive marquee stem in the shop. When we gave him the flower, he failed to hide his smile. <laughs> hmm. You can't imagine how hard it was to get him to smile. What's your favorite flower, Natasha? As an orphan, I never knew my birthday. My adoptive parents took me to the overworld and made the day I joined the family my birthday. And each year on that day, my parents would give me a bouquet of first snow. And the number of stems represented how many years had passed since I joined the family. I only found out later that first snow represents beautiful memories. Oh, my parents gave me a beautiful childhood. And I still haven't had the chance to thank them for that. I see. Shall we go to the floors? Mom will like this. Oh hey, I thought you went to choose some flowers. Or did you want to hear some family flower stories? Nothing. I'm going to go pick out some flowers. Thank you for doing this. No problem. What flower should I pick for Nat? Uh, first snow. Oh, first snow, is it? One second. I'll get it ready for you. <laughs> there you go. Sorry for the wait. 
Hope to see you again soon. Wait, was that the right one? Can I get another one? No. All done? May I have a look? For snow. Thank you. It reminds me of carefree childhood days. Oh, those times were pure and innocent. Just like these petals. I knew you'd pick the right flowers. Mom and Dad will be so happy. Let's go. My mom will be there soon. Best not to leave old folks waiting. Beautiful, simply beautiful. Hoyovers even animated their ring. You know what I mean. The finger guitar playing. Simply beautiful. Come around and have a look. Mom. Not. Nat, is that you? Oh, come here, my darling. Share a warm embrace. It's been too long, Mom. Too long. Sorry, I don't usually get this emotional. How have you been, Mr. Oswell? Thank you so much for taking care of my parents these last ten years. I'm doing fine, Miss Natasha. Just fine. Look at you. You've blossomed into a fine young woman. Such a pity that your father... Dad, I was wondering where he is. Is he... <gasps> oh, he passed away. It was three years ago, Nat. No need to be sad. He passed away very peacefully. So sorry. For ten years, I left you both in the overworld. Mr. Oswell, I'm sorry you had to bear all this weight. Don't be, my dear. It is my honor to look after your parents. It's not your fault that they sealed off the passage between the surface and the underground. Don't be so harsh on yourself, daughter. <laughs> oh, Mom. I have so much to say to you. But, um, there's an urgent matter that needs your help. I apologize. I wish this were a happier reunion. But there are too many suffering with sickness in the underworld. You're the only person I can go to for help. Oh, there's no need to apologize, my child. I've heard of your deeds down there, and I know you've saved many lives. Your father? would be proud of you. 
We have many connections in the medical academy. No matter what you need, be it medicine or data, I should be able to get it for you. Be the doctor you always were, Nat. We have all the time in the world to catch up later. Discuss the details about the medicine supply work in the underworld. She's a great mom. She's always been there for me. With her help, we'll be able to ease the underworld's medical supply shortage. That's good news for patients who'd lost hope. I really wish I could spend the whole day talking to her about the old days. But sadly, now is not the time. Let's head back to the underworld. We need to spread the good news. Mr. Tasha, one moment, please. Why is it, Oswell? Mr. Oswell? I thought you headed back home with Mom. How come... I apologize, Miss Natasha. As a matter of fact, there's something I have to tell you in person. Something that Mom isn't supposed to know? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Smart and sensitive. The fact of the matter is, in the first two years after the passage was closed off, I received many letters from Master Vash. What? Letters from Vash? Are you certain, Mr. Oswell? Of course, miss. I recognized his handwriting. You'll see what I mean when you read the letters yourself. Actually, those letters were intended for your eyes only. The delivery address was the underworld, but because of the sealing off of the passageway, the letters were sent back to your old house, to me. I don't understand. Did you not show them to my parents? I... I'm sorry, miss. I opened one of them out of curiosity. Master Vash stressed in the letter that your parents must not know what happened to him. That's why I put the letters in a secure place, waiting to hand them to you when we could meet again. Uh, <sighs> I... I'm not sure if I did the right thing, Miss Natasha. I just didn't want your parents to feel that their son was so close and yet so far away. Do you have the letters on you, Mr. Oswell? Let me take a look. Of course, of course, here. You can tell it's the young master's handwriting. Natasha, how have you been? I hope you are doing well. I am. As I stated in my previous letter, envious of you. You always show unwavering kindness to your parent, patients. I'm envious of your inherent compassion. I remember giving a speech on stage when I first started school, waving my arms and advocating for the development of blizzard immunity. In hindsight, I was a fool. During my final days of the medical school, I became increasingly stubborn and withdrew into myself. Experiments and ambitions consumed my heart, and the patients who were supposed to be in my care were progressively ignored. Natasha, I dare not beg for your forgiveness. I owe the people of the underworld too much already. I might have spent the rest of my life as a madman wallowing in my convictions if you hadn't agreed to my desire for self-exile. The cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child who grew up in warmth ever begin to comprehend a, a cure to bitter cold? Thank you for giving me a one last chance to discover the answer. I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments, one step after another. I have made breakthroughs. I'm trembling, not because of the cold, but because I can feel I'm getting closer to the answer I seek. I become a pariah, unable to return to civilized society nor to face my parents. But I didn't despair because I discovered the meaning of my existence. I had a feeling I was on the right track. The reagents I developed in the underworld have a serious flaw. The medication only addresses the issue of organ hypothermia and failure, and it will be caught in a never-ending vicious cycle of consumption and recovery. I should have changed the focus of my study a long time ago and tried to figure out how to raise the temperature of the organs and of the body in a controlled manner. Natasha, thank you very much. 
you helped me find the missing piece in the development of Blizzard Immunity. <sighs> the cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child who grew up in warmth ever begin to comprehend a cure to bitter cold? He... <sighs> Vash didn't give up on his research into Blizzard Immunity, even after he left the city. I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments. One step after another, I've made breakthroughs. I'm trembling, not because of the cold, but because I can feel I'm getting closer to the answer I seek. If what's in here is true, then... Then Vash must have built a lab somewhere in the snow plains, and even made progress in his research. But how can that be? Do you believe it? There'd be no point in him lying to me in the letters. Still, it's possible he may have gone completely insane before he started writing them. I need to leave the city to recover my brother's research data. Are you willing to come with me? Sure thing. Leave the city? You are taking too much risk, Miss Natasha. I know, Mr. Oswell. But I have a hero with me. She saved the underworld. I'm sure she'll protect me, right? <sighs> Vash... It's been so many years. Are you still alone in the blizzard? Oh... <laughs> Ignore me. I'm just... talking to myself. <sighs> Let's go. It's time to face my past head-on. As you command, my queen. We shall find your brother. Your brother. <sighs> Such harsh cold. It's hard to imagine anyone surviving in these conditions. <laughs> Unless blizzard immunity is real. <sighs> Let's hurry up. We need to find any clues that Vash may have left behind before both of us become ice sculptures. Here, this looks like lab equipment. Maybe Vash left it behind. Huh. Still, it's all just used test tubes, beakers, and other vessels. There's no sign of any sample reagents or lab notes for that matter. Maybe things were too harsh here for record keeping. Oh, I know my brother. He's meticulous when it comes to medical experiments. There's no way he wouldn't document his results. I want to go deeper into the snow plains. Can you press on any further? <sighs> Gosh, the temperature keeps getting lower, but we can't give up halfway. The trailblaze protects me. It's you I'm worried about. I can warn you up if you like. <laughs> oh, that's very kind of you. But don't you underestimate the leader of wildfire. <sighs> Let's press on then. <sighs> this may not sound like me. But I hope that deity the architects worship can grant us some luck. Vash's letter. Oh, it's the same one. Oh. Citizens? Outside the walls? Hey, you two! Stop right there! Hey, what's up? That's a silver main guard. Is he yelling at us? Oh, I'd almost forgotten. No one can leave Bellabog without authorization. Looks like we need to talk our way out of this. Blah 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 blah. I can't say you sound suspicious, but I can't just take your word for it either. Captain, look at her necklace. Maybe she's telling the truth. Hmm. It's the same as Dr. Vash's. My brother does wear an identical necklace. Do you know him? Are you really his sister? Dr. Vash saved a lot of my soldiers. Saved your soldiers? Yes. Take a look at the guards patrolling outside the city. 
All of them are risking their lives. Aside from the monster-related casualties, we lose men to frostbite every year. But thanks to the medicine the doctor leaves us, my soldiers are able to withstand the cold. They can make camps in the snow plains as footholds for our patrols. If it weren't for the doctor, we would have long since frozen to death. Medicine? Blizzard immunity? I succeed. Where is Vash now? We don't know. Dr. Vash is... elusive. My squad only met him once, and he didn't seem like the talkative type. He leaves the medicine at specific locations, and our patrols go there to collect it. The medicine is extremely potent. A small vial could keep someone warm for a week. Mm, speaking of the doctor, it's been a long time since we last saw him. At least two or three years. I hope he's alive and well. <laughs> so he really did have a breakthrough in the snow plains. Oh, did the medicine have any side effects for you? Side effects? Not that I know of. If there were a problem, it'd be that we couldn't go back to the city until the effect had worn off. Because the city would be too hot for us. We'd break a sweat just sitting idle. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for the information. We're planning to head deeper into the snow plains to find my brother. Seems like you've made up your mind. I'd really like to send some of my men with you, but we can't leave our posts. Here, take this medicine. If what you two told me is true, I'm sure you're more than capable of handling yourselves out there. Thank you, Captain. We'll take it with us. Oh, enemy. Uh, hold on. That's a big guy over there. Did you see that? There's something on the monster's back. Oh, the blizzard immunity. Shall we drink it? It's your call. Hmm. Let's not drink it. It's time to fight some enemies. I'm ready. Doctor's got your back. You won't get away. Nap time. You've got a lot of luck. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. You won't get away. <laughs> Lance, forward! Uh, survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Nice. <sighs> it's done. That was my first time seeing you in battle. You've got some moves, don't you? <laughs> no wonder you were able to save the Underworld. Let's have a look over there. My gut tells me we should find something connected to Vash. <sighs> These are records of his experiments. It's Vash's handwriting. This must be the location of his final lab. Come have a look. His last experiment was nearly two years ago? What happened after that? Huh. But his notes seem to suggest he was working to improve blizzard immunity. Brother, where are you? What happened? Let's call it a day. Sorry. I needed to take a moment. <laughs> After seeing the letters Mr. Oswell kept for me, I was... ...hoping things might have ended differently. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked you to come with me to such a dangerous place. You miss him, right? <laughs> I 
I do? I can't forgive him for what he's done. Nor can I say I don't miss him. I... <laughs> Maybe I should feel glad. The medicine might not have been what he wanted it to be, but it came to something. Maybe he found some inner peace. Too bad his victims will never share that peace. You're right. There can be no forgiveness for the crimes he committed. He didn't deserve the title of doctor. But maybe this blizzard immunity can now bring benefit to others. Even if it was made by a monster. <sighs> Human beings really are conflicted life forms. What now? I'll take his records and data with me and continue what he started. One day the world will see a perfect blizzard immunity. Before we leave, I'd like to ask for another favor. The, the last one, I promise. Ask away, my queen. Fulfill Natasha's final request. Hits them. Oh. <sighs> that should do. Hope it can withstand the snow. You ought to put an epitaph on the headstone. You're right. Uh, let me think. Here lies Vash. My brother. <sighs> That'll do. Thank you for helping me. I feel like a great weight has been lifted. So long, brother. Hope you don't forget Dad's teaching. A doctor does not get to choose his or her patient, my children. Remember, never say no to those who come to you for help. Never. Equilibrium part four. Oh, Natasha can visit the express now. Nice. True blazer level 50, let's go. Oh, I need to go here. To fire, imaginary, wind. Ah, uh. me prick down, huh? First, you. That enemy certainly isn't friendly. You first. Stay. Move carefully. Stay. Leave it to me. The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant, the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! No. <laughs> Let's begin. Time for a shot. Nap time. <laughs> Fighting is meaning. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm on guard. Leave it to me. I have no interest in coming. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Naughty child, nap time. Lance at the ready. Ha! Let's begin. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. <laughs> Fighting is me. <laughs> I'm on guard. <laughs> Leave it to me. Time for nap time. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Don't worry about me. The truth of life is sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's begin. No. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> That'll take me. <laughs> no interest. Lance up the... Naughty nap time. Fighting is meaning. No. Time. <laughs> I've no interest. Reach the end of the story in your own way. We need a strategy. Stay. This will strengthen our position. Move carefully. <laughs> Lance ablaze! Lance forward! The truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary is but a vision! Break! You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Nap time. <laughs> Fighting. Leave it to put. Lower your weapon. I've no interest. Time for some hard shit. Time for a shot. Nap time. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. The truth of life in death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Criminal. Hut. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Naughty child. Lance at the ready. Fighting is meaningless. Time for a shot. That's better. Timely treatment. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I'm on guard. I have no interest in con... Naughty child, nap time. Lower your weapon. <laughs> I'm fine. Fighting is meaningless. Treasonous. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Interesting conflict. I'm fine. I'm okay. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice.
Past victories don't guarantee future ones. All right. Let's go, level four. That's what I've been waiting for. You finally got some leisure time. Don't forget to grab some sleep when you're done wandering about. Awesome and Trailblaze level. Oh yeah, I need to go fight this, I think. Wait, no. I can craft this, right? Yeah. What the? I need twenty of these. What? All right. Let's see if I can do them. Fire lightning. I'm going to need support for this. Please help me. When faced with an army, bide your time and time your attack. Unlucky. Conflict is pitiless. Sagacious discernment. That's better. Can you instead? No. How could you? Lance forward. Remember this moment. Here, this thunder. Show no mercy. Okay, four. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Tingyun, I'm sorry. this to her perfect more HP better Make her tanky.
We need a strategy. Lost. <laughs> Here, this one. <laughs> oh. I'm okay. Can we talk? <laughs> yeah. Conflict is pitiless. Sagacious discernment. <laughs> That's better. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Here, this thunder. Show no mercy. Lance forward. Nap time. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh well. Right now, I'll just chew over here. Oh, Asta. If a space telescope were deployed at this location on the Express, it would almost certainly be possible to observe shorter wavelengths. Mm, feels like a good angle. Have you got a new DC topic? I sure do. You know, I was racking my brains before I boarded the Express, but now I've got more ideas than I know what to do with. Inspiration is a fickle mistress. My thesis might just be related to the Express. I hope you'll agree to be interviewed later. I need first-hand information. Well, of course, there are other things in life, too. Why not just soak in the Express for today? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Well, I've been on the Express before, but this is my first visit with you on board. Looking forward to it. Hmm. Okay. Now. Uh... Just two singles. I've been itching to do it. Might as well. First start? No. Come on, five star, five star. No. Trust number five. No, again. This is definitely definitely the five star. Come on. Uh. 
Uh, uh, definitely. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Ow. Oh, uh, just that. All right, I'm gonna end the stream right here. Thank you all for watching. And um, hope you guys have a nice day, nice rest of your day. It's a storm right now over here, so mm -hmm. I better turn off the stream. Alright, no, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.